superficial radial nerve is a very useful regional anesthesia technique that blocks only the sensory branch of the radial nerve. This allows selective sensory block with the ability to test the mobility of the hand and the thumb intraoperatively. A typical example would be testing the integrity of the tendon after its repair. In addition to the ability to test the integrity and functionality intraoperatively, the selective sensory block of the radial nerve also avoids unnecessary hand weakness postoperatively. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to do a selective distal branch of the radial nerve using aeroplane approach. And here it is, hot off the press, the Nysora Nerblock manual for all of you who asked for the printed version of the famous Nysora Nerblock app. The practical guide to over 60 nerve blocks illustrated throughout and bang up to date. The latest techniques, procedures, and insider tips from the Nysora experts. Ready to use right now in the operating room or the ultimate study guide. Beautiful, isn't it? Get your copy on Amazon, click on the link below. I'll do an implant technique. So we're going to do now superficial radial nerve for an operation on the, on the middle finger and the dorsum of the middle finger. So here we see the radial artery quite nicely. And next to the radial artery is the superficial radial nerve. Let's scan proximal distal and follow that nerve a bit more proximally and distally and see how it behaves. So that's the nerve right there in the, the space as you go more proximally you can see how the nerve and the artery dive. If you go more distally, more distally, distally, the nerve comes up to the surface. That's it. I think it's pretty good place to, to block it. We can do in plane, out of plane. I think out of plane probably will be easier option here. There we go. So the needle is now right next to the radial artery. And now it's in the space between the artery and the nerve. Now, please attention to this section here. We're going to pause the video. And here we're going to discuss a very important concept. So this is a fascial sheath, and the fascial sheath here contains the radial artery and a superficial radial nerve. Now the needle tip aeroplane is over here, and what you will see in the video is that when the injection of the local anesthetic begins, the radial nerve is surrounded by the local anesthetic by primarily being pushed away by the local anesthetic that is being injected. That concept is extremely important for the superficial radial nerve block or any other nerve block procedure in that the injection for any nerve block is done in the space that contains a nerve. This is the sheath over here and when that injection is done, it's done away from the nerve and the local anesthetic pushes the nerve to safety while surrounding the nerve with the local anesthetic that causes the block. So again, we're not ejecting around the nerve, but rather inside the sheet or a space that contains the nerve. Let's continue watching the video. Deeper next to the artery. Okay, that's a nice distribution and the lift of, of the nerve. Let's gain the nerve a little bit. Okay, there you go. So the nerve is basically swimming in that pool of the local anesthetic. You really only need it. There you go. Very nice image of the nerve. See, every time we inject, the pool expands, and there's really not much else that we need to do. It's the radial nerve and the radial artery. And that was a technique of the block of the distal sensory branch of the radial nerve for anesthesia or analgesia after the surgery on the dorsal aspect of the hand, fingers, or thumb.